hell, pits of punishment. The Montezes say they were among about 30 people who were part of a ceremony for a new member. That involved blood sacrifices to santos, or saints, represented by rocks kept in containers. They cut the animals' jugulars and let them bleed out. We're not beating animals to death. What is Santeria? If you ask anyone from the Christian faith, they will say that Santeria is not only witchcraft, but it's the worshipping of Satan himself. But despite the negative stigma on the religion, approximately 100 million people worldwide practices Santeria. This African religion originated from Benin and Nigeria, same place as its other counterpart, Voodoo, and made its way to the New World via the gruesome transatlantic slave trade. It is primarily practiced in Cuba and the Dominican Republic. In fact, over 80% of Cubans and 60% of Dominicans practice some form of the religion. In the Dominican Republic, it is called 21 Division or Dominican Voodoo. Because colonizers deemed everything African demonic, most of its practitioners had to cloak their faith with Catholic symbols and saints, and that is true till this day. Santeria believers believe in a central supreme god, Olajimer, that doesn't interfere in human affairs. In order to communicate with God, the believers will make sacrifices to the Orishas, spirit manifestations of the supreme deity. Followers believe that these spirits will give them help in life, if they carry out the appropriate rituals, and enable them to achieve the destiny that God planned for them before they were born. Similar to Voodoo and IFA, during rituals, the Santeria priests or priestess will become possessed with the spirit of an Orisha, and the whole community can share in its presence. Animal sacrifice is central to Santeria. Followers of an Orisha will offer them food and sacrifice animals to them in order to build and maintain a personal relationship with the spirit. Without sacrifice the religion would die out, as sacrifice is essential for initiation into the faith community and the ordination of priests. If that's the case, why does Santeria get a bad name in the media? One of the darkest moments in Santeria was accepting the identity that the demons gave me that I was one of them and me being a witch. Like most religions, people don't always use it for the good, and in Santeria it's the same. Bruja, which is the element in the religion that some of its followers gravitate towards, is not always depicted as loving and caring. In some instances, cases of zombifications, devil worshipping, and witchcraft have made the headlines. Nonetheless the religion continues to grow worldwide, as more Christians are leaving the church pews and mass, for a night of rituals and community gatherings.